are so glad that you joined us today. As you know, our episodes are released every other week. So we ask you in our community to spread the word because it's all about healthy eating, healthy living, so that you can enjoy a better quality of health. Now, I also want you to remember at the very beginning that we are going to resume our Eat for Optimal Health cooking class starting in the month of September. So please go to our website and start registering, share the word with your friends so that we can have a full class that everyone can benefit from this experience. For today, we're going to make something very simple, vegan chickpeas tuna salad. For this recipe, these are the things we need. We need the chickpeas and remember all the measurements are done for you. If you're making a large batch, you would need like three cups of chickpeas. Then we need our onions. Our onions are already chopped. You can either use white onions or you can use red onions. It's all your choice. We have our celery already cut. We have our olives. We have our nori um, flakes, seaweed flakes. We have a combat our salt here, and we have a little bit of um, ground pepper, and this is our cashew sour cream, or cashew sour cream with a little bit of salt to taste. As you know, in my cooking, I like to use nutritional yeast, so I'm going to put a little bit of this in it. it the recipe doesn't call for that, but I am going to add that to it. As you know, my custom is to talk a little bit about the ingredients, the benefits of these ingredients. So we're going to talk first of all of the benefit of the chickpeas. Chickpeas is very, very good. It, as you can expect, is a heart healthy food. It also protects your body from anemia. So if you have low iron, this is a food that you would want to incorporate in your meal. You also need to remember that it has anti-cancer fighting properties. So when you incorporate this in your meal, you're reducing your risk of things like cancer. People who are trying to lose weight, this is a good food. It good, it's good to prevent um, things like obesity. If you are suffering from things like constipation, you need to incorporate this in your meal because it has a lot of fiber. So it's going to help in the elimination. This food also boosts your immune system. It is also a diabetic friendly food, which means it keeps your blood sugar low. It increases, um, it helps to control your blood pressure. It is also very good in that it helps to remove some of the mucus and plaque that might be in your body. It is very good for your nerves. It helps with your nerves. It helps with the regulation of your hormones. It is good for your skin. It helps your skin to be nice and glowing and healthy. And it also, and this is very interesting, I just discovered that, helps to increase your semen count. So it's very good for men as well. We're going to talk a little bit about the benefit of the olives. What are some of the benefits of the olives? Olives is very good because it helps with your um, gallbladder. It keeps it functioning well. It is very good for your liver. It also helps to protect your body from peptic ulcers, right? It is good to reduce pain from arthritis. It prevents some kinds of cancer. It boosts your iron absorption. We talked about iron earlier. So this helps the iron to be properly utilized in your system. It is good for overall metabolism. It helps to lower your cholesterol. It helps also in that it contains the good fats. So it's heart healthy. It also improves your skin. So here you have it, all the benefits of the olives. Now let's talk a little bit about the cashew because our, um, we have our cashew butter, or cashew cream here. So let's talk about some of the benefits of the cashews. Number one, 
it helps to maintain healthy skin. You notice that all the foods we are talking about here helps with your skin. It helps to prevent things like migraine. It is also good in that it reduces one's risk for diabetes. It keeps your blood sugar low. It is good in that it helps to maintain your, bo um, your bone health. It helps to prevent things like colon and liver cancer. It also helps your entire body to function well. And by the way, lest I forget, it's very, very good for your brain health. It helps you if you're trying to lose weight. It helps to prevent things like gallstone. It's good in that it fights heart disease. And overall, it's a good source of protein. So here we have it. We have our chickpeas. We have our olives. We have our onions. We have our nori flakes. We have the um, cashew cream and um, all the other things that we need for this recipe. This is a very simple and straightforward recipe. So here we go. So we have our chickpeas here. You can use a crusher and you just crush the chickpeas. You want to make sure that it's properly crushed. And uh, when I'm finished, I'm going to show you what it looks like. You can also use a fork to crush this. Or you can use a potato masher. Any of those will do a good job in making sure that these are mashed properly. You don't want all of them to be crushed, crushed. You want to leave some hole for texture. So this is what your crushed chickpeas look like, right? You want to leave some of it for, you know, giving the, the tuna, chickpeas tuna, you want to give it some body. You want to give it some texture. So you make sure that, you know, some are left whole. Now, once you're finished doing that, again, this is what it looks like then you're going to put your other ingredients. So we are going to include the olives. Then we are going to put our onions. Gonna put our shallot. Then we're gonna put a pinch of salt. We're going to add our nori flakes. All right, so you add everything together and you mix it up like that. Now, the last thing you're going to add to this is your cashew cream. And then you blend everything together. Because this is summer, you don't want to spend a whole lot of time in the kitchen. So this is a nice, fast, simple dish that you can make. So you just blend it all together like this. So you see the texture. You can add a little bit of um, nutritional yeast to this and it gives it a nice rich texture. And now you can have your pita bread and you just so we are just going to 
put this on here. You can also have this with your crackers. All depends on what you would like to do. Or you can have it on bread. So here we have it. This is our dish with our chickpeas tuna, vegan chickpeas tuna. You see how yummy it looks? And I particularly like the addition of the olives. You can actually add pickles, but keeping it healthy, I prefer to add the olives and especially the black olives. So you can have this as a snack you can have it as a morning meal if you want to put it on your bread. You can have it on crackers. You can have it if you have a little gathering of your friends. You can have it as a finger food. So it's very versatile. You can use it in many, many different things, right? But this is the finished product. Very simple, very straightforward. I trust that you will try this recipe. Leave a comment on our page and let us know how yours came out. Remember, our goal is to eat for optimal health, remembering that our body is God's temple. Thanks so much for joining us. Looking forward to seeing you in the next two weeks. God bless you.